Hey guys, so we're continuing in Proverbs, and today we're talking about how money is a strong city. Money is a strong city. In Proverbs 10, verse 15, it says, The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and the destruction of the poor is their poverty. So, <clears throat> the rich man, his wealth, or his money, is like a strong city. But the poor, okay, since they live in poverty, they are destroyed. Now, destroyed doesn't mean, like, literally, like, annihilated out of existence. It just is a word that the Bible uses to refer, once again, to um, bad things that happen. So if someone is poor, the more likely um, bad things will end up happening to them. So how is money like a strong city? Well, in ancient times, strong cities gave people protection. Right here, we have a picture of the city of, of ancient Babylon. It's an extremely, extremely strong, well-fortified city. Very difficult for an enemy to penetrate. Uh, very tall, very thick walls. Um, they had multiple layers of protection. And so strong cities protected people. It gave them security. It allowed them to live their lives and not worry about danger. Well, money is like a strong city because it gives people protection. Money is not something that you should be obsessed over. Okay, We shouldn't uh, be obsessed with getting more and more money. But money is important. Because without money, there's a lot of things, a lot of bad things that can happen to you. So how does money protect you? Well, in every country, and especially America, there is two types of people, basically. There's rich and there's poor. And rich people and poor people live very different lives. Okay, Rich people have a lot of money. They can buy a lot of things that protect them okay not just things that they can buy to like enjoy life and have fun but things that protect them poor people don't have money and so they don't have as much protection well how is that well let's think about the most obvious thing which is your house rich people can afford a really nice uh big and secure house they can afford to buy an alarm, a security system, a very, uh, they can hire bodyguards uh, if they want to. They can do all sorts of things to protect themselves. Now, if you're poor, and there's different levels of poverty, right? You can live in a really dumpy house like the one on the left or just an average house on the right. But the poorer you are, the less likely you are to be able to afford a house like the one, uh, like this one or even like this one. Uh, so what happens when you live in a dumpy house like the one on the left? Well, what happens when a hurricane comes, when a tornado comes? Is that gonna stand up? Is that gonna protect you? What happens when someone wants to rob you? That seems pretty easy to get into. There's lots of things that uh, can happen to poor people because they can't afford to protect themselves like rich people can. Uh, then there's the neighborhood you live in, right? Poor people, uh, if, you're in, if you're in a poor neighborhood, you're more likely to be, there's more likely to be higher crime. Uh, there's higher crime rates in poor neighborhoods than in rich neighborhoods. And that's that's just a fact. So if you live in a nice neighborhood, a rich neighborhood, you have a lot of money. You don't have to worry about someone burglarizing your house or someone coming in with a gun. Uh, the poorer you are, the more likely you are you have to worry about that. And so money is important. Money is money is a is a way to protect yourself. Then there's healthcare. Okay, if you take go on an ambulance, one ambulance ride can cost you about the same as fifty Uber rides. Right, a, a two mile ambulance ride. 
Just a two mile ambulance ride can cost you $728. Just two miles and you're paying over $700. And that's just for basic life support. If you require more um, attention from the paramedics on the ambulance ride, it's, it'll cost you even more, maybe even $1,000 or $2,000. Well, if you're poor and you don't have something called health insurance, okay, which is something that kind of helps you pay for uh, medical costs, well, you can't afford that. You'll go broke. You'll end up on the street. Uh, it's, it's not good at all. What about if you need your appendix removed? You have appendicitis. Well, that'll cost you $15,000. What if you need a knee replacement? You're old and you have bad knees and you need to replace your knees. Well, that's $39,000. What about if you have lung cancer? That could be almost $300,000. So having a lot of money is important because when you don't have a lot of money, you are not able to pay for these types of things. These very, very important things that could save your life. Uh, what about when you're, and hopefully this will never happen to you, but a lot of poor people um, and rich people, of course, but uh, a lot of people, when they get uh, suspected of a crime and they're arrested and they go to court, they got to hire a lawyer. Well, the cheaper or the poorer you are, the more likely you are to get a really bad lawyer who won't be able to defend you in court. And if he can't defend you well in court, that will have an impact on the type of sentence you have. And so if you're poor, right, uh, or if you're rich, you may, be, you, may, you may be convicted of a crime, right, and maybe spend a few months in jail and get out because you had a lot of money because so you, you could afford a really good lawyer. But if you're poor, you may end up spending uh, your entire life in prison for the exact same crime. So the crime that the rich person spent a few months in jail for, the poor person spent his entire life in jail for. Money makes a big difference. And hopefully this will never happen to you, but it's an area where money is a, uh, a way to protect yourself. And then there's college, right? Now, the, the amount of money you have will depend on what kind of college you go to, whether it's a good college or a bad college. And it also will determine how much of your life you spend paying back all that debt that you owe uh, because you couldn't afford to go to college, so you had to get a loan, right? Which means you have to pay back that money. And the poorer you are, the more likely you are, will, more likely you'll just spend a lot of years paying back all that money that you owe from college. So money is a strong city. Money is not something that you should uh, spend too much time okay, thinking about, but this proverb says it's important. It is very important because it protects you. It gives you, just like a strong city, it keeps you secure and it keeps you free from having to worry about things that uh, that might negatively impact your life and your health and your well-being.